Hey, going everyone, and welcome to today's tutorial. Now, this is a follow up for the video I have created a tutorial about the zoo wall. That if you haven't seen it, I encourage you to go watch it so you can understand completely what is this on about. So, for the pollution part, I have discovered a really uh, good information. So, if you have a look on the pollution around, all around the base, it has been reduced with a huge amount. Uh, it's not going outside at all from all those three sites, while the four sites is going out. And I have found out the reason. Now, once the bitters cannot be spawned anymore, they will not take a pollution. Um, now the only reason that they don't spawn if you don't give them the space. So once they they full, like between those full, then they will not spawn. So you may need to do one line instead of two lines. Now in saying so, the second line is supposed to be working, and it does actually generate some. But still not the best. I had a defense here to kill everything around. That's where is the actual the walls is working. Well in here I left this area without defenses and that is the outcome. So you're gonna need to set some defenses around if you want to reduce the and eliminate the pollution. Now, one more thing as well you need to pay attention, like those patches that I have talked about in the last episode. Now, those same things applies. So once the middle part is full, they're not going to take more pollution. What you need to know as well, um, so the bitters will spawn all around to the closest available area. So if you have a look, I have two here. They are spawning into here, not next to it, but to the closest available place. Now, if we make a space for them here, that is a closer than this. Let's see where they're gonna spawn. Um, I bet they will. Have, yep, that is the place they spawned into. Now the reason, because it's the closest area. However, as long as you kill them, they will take all the pollution. So if you see this, this is actually getting a little bit cleaner here. While here it's not. So I had all of those. They were full. Uh, but I did not set defenses, so if you are planning to do those patches as well, make sure you put defenses around. Now, what you can do, you can probably put them, then fill everything around them, make some space, and just put one uh, Tesla tower next to, next to the actual thing, then that will kill everything without spreading to the bitter spawners. Then you would save some energy, you would uh, kill them fast, and you can actually do it way easy. Now, what I'm going to do here, so I will show you all this pollution I will get rid of. So, to do so, I will be creating some defenses. I will probably drain all my energy, but that's probably not a bad idea to show. Um, how is the actual thing going to work when it's come to the pollution? So I need to kill everything as fast as I can. And... Okay, so that's three lines we'll do for now. I have some on me. I bet I'll go and help the boats to get them done. Oh. Well, actually, they don't need my help. Okay, let's have a look on the pollution. 
let's see if it's actually changing I bet that will be a huge amount of change in no time because I will be killing everything I need to converse too okay let's leave it that way Uh, do I have enough energy to do all of that? Oh yes, I have. Okay, so can I actually place this? Uh, maybe not. Uh, maybe I'll place it in the middle. Let's see if they can destroy it straight away. It's not a bad idea actually to place them all around. Uh, actually, no, they will do damage. They will do damage to their actual defenses. Okay, that is done. Let's see what's going to happen. They attacking now. Of course they do. Who's attacking? Yeah, they will attack. Okay. Let's see the. Uh, let them destroy everything. We are just testing the pollution different. As soon as we kill them, then they will. Hopefully, that will spawn more bitters and quickly. Then we will see the pollution different in no time. Bit. This is the most believe that's need to be for whatever reason. I have more pollution here from where it's coming. Ah, yeah, of course, of course. Um, let's see. can I place this? Will it connect? No, it's actually no. Can I place the blue? Then it will connect. This for now. Oh, it's actually doing something because we placed those and we killed all of them here. This area is getting the reduction. And him here. Do you see the difference? Now, if we kill those, we will make a huge space of the pollution here. Now, I don't know if that. Oh, that's that's actually working. Let's see the difference now in in this area. And you see this is uh, a darker red than this area. Uh, what I actually can do, I will show the debug as well. Uh, let's show pollution value. So, the pollution value. Not much here, not much here. We are not killing them fast enough. Oh, well, actually, that's actually good. So there is a reduction. There is a reduction. So it is actually working. Yeah, it's all minus. They're all minus. Uh, what about the, the middle way I have in here? Yep. So they all minus. All right, let's untick those and let's see the difference. Look at this. It is actually working as soon as I start killing them. 
So basically, to get rid of all the pollution, you must kill those spirits. It is a must. So what are you going to do? You're going to need to block them. Then, after you're blocking them, you will you will need to kill them. Um, blocking them by itself, yes, that will stop them from going to your base. But later on, after playing for like a week or two, the pollution will go really far. Then all around your base will be all red and you cannot even stop them anymore. So the artillery will shoot. I have 9k, nice. Uh, the artillery will shoot anything in the radius, but then what about so anything outside you will not be able to stop. Ah, all right. Well, this is the end of the video. If you like the idea, please subscribe in the channel. I hope you can use it. Um, I am working on the episode uh, 11. I encourage you to watch that too. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.